Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 92. December the, the 9th? Is today the 9th? Oh, my. We have, listen, I've had such a critical week that it was so difficult to even recognize how I was going to get through it, right? I mean, it was so critical. Entrepreneurs and leaders, it was so critical that it was the very thing that would have made or broke my future when it comes to what I do in business. You know, everything, I don't have to tell it all, but what I will tell you is that every single thing turned out for my good. It was I kept saying, I give honor to my spiritual journey. I give honor to my spiritual journey. I cried a little bit. I went through the high and low of, you know, circumstances and how it befell me. And I had to shut some people out. I had to ignore, you know, the hurtful words that others would say. I had to um, look at things legally and really, really decipher them to the degree where I needed counsel. And I called upon my counsel and my counsel answered me and gave me, let me tell you, entrepreneurs and leaders in your life. If you continue to continue to keep doing the good that you are destined to do, and you're on the path of that way that, you know, the best thing to do is to continue to keep walking and rocking in the shoes you're walking in and you're doing it with precision, not with the ego. Everything that should be looked at as a negative, as a downfall, as a critical, you know, uh, detriment to you will all be for your good. It will not be one thing (laughs) that will not show up that is not for your good. Even when it looks bad, it's still for your good. And John from Philly, I thank you so much for your conversation, the upliftment that you gave me, the prophetic ideas that you put upon the relationship, how you told me that even though it may look a certain way, you have even those who slander and scandalize your name being proud of you. When we have to do things, in a in a in an order that's designed, it is for a specific purpose and reason. And so, entrepreneurs, let me tell you, you can be facing a foreclosure, and someone gives you a donation that fits the bill for that specific amount to let you know that it was a design from the universal order, and the bill is paid the day of foreclosure. Let me tell you, that's how good this thing is. There can come a time where you think you're in the midst of needing someone's help only to find out that that someone can't be there to help you because something as critical as a life situation has separated them from you, but you still get the job done in the spiritual realm because of the fact that this person is still there supporting you because the journey never stops. How many people are rocking in the shoes they walking in today? How many people out there are saying to themselves that, dang, what she's saying right now, even though I'm estranged from my children, even though my older children don't understand what I'm going through because they haven't been through the experiences that I have and they want to judge me for being who I was when I could only be who I was because of what I was and the excuses that have been made on behalf of the mistakes that have been made because we're all human. No one needs to carry the burden of the cross that no longer exists. This cross don't even exist no more. It's not even something to even carry. So why are we leaning forward and down like our backs is broken? No, we be grateful. We show gratitude. We, we empower ourselves through research. We empower ourselves through knowing that this too is going to pass. This is a temporary state. It's temporary entrepreneurs. And so I tell you, 
when I'm on the verge of almost being where I am to be, that's when the chaos starts. That's when the disrespect and all types of illusions that have come up in my mind that I've made for myself, because that's what I've done. I've created a distraction to because in my physicalness, the lower vibration is telling me that I don't deserve this. But in my spiritualness, I know I deserve this. So you know what I've started to do? Entrepreneurs, I've started to begin to tell myself every time when I think of something that is not of the path in which I'm walking. No, that's not what I want. No, nah, I think I want to be more of a, you know, happier person. Instead of stressing out when I hear airplanes riding a, around me, instead of saying, oh, they're putting chemtrails in the air and oh, they're clouding and polluting the uh, the air to where you it's hard to see on, you know, cloudy days or whatever. I say to myself, that's a vacation. Somebody's up there riding and traveling and going somewhere where I'm going to be e eventually going. I'm saving my money to go on that trip to the Bahamas, to Cancun, to Jamaica, to Dubai, to wherever. You know what I mean? And these are things that we can motivate ourselves to do. And in 2024, honey, it's on and popping. It's on and popping no matter how many distractions, no matter how many hits I got to take, I'm still going to be grateful for every single one of them because they're all illusions, things that I tell my fear that I'm afraid of. And that's a false, that's false evidence appearing real, telling me, yes. So the subconscious is my captain of my ship. And the captain is going to take that vehicle wherever it wants to go. And so the conscious is what is the intricate workings of the ship. And it's doing everything. The conscious is, the subconscious is doing everything that the conscious expects it to do. When the, when the ship is ignited, that's when it wants to rev, rev up that engine. When it's starting to move that vessel in the direction it's moving, the subconscious is going along with that consciousness. So sometimes we have to be very mindful what we tell ourselves in the midst of the storm. Calm down. It's going to be okay. In the midst of the storm, when you tell yourself to be calm, the storms, the wind, and the, and, and the waves will obey you. I've seen it happen. Mm -hmm. it's, an, it's an intimidation of the mind. So when we intimidate the mind, then what's happening is we're bringing false evidence that we believe appears real. We believe it so it becomes. When it's hard to believe something, that's one of the number one illusions of grief, denial. Why? Because psychologically, we want to tell our minds what we want it to believe. And when something is taking place as, as, as strong as, a, as a, a, a remembrance of a, a human being to a spiritual form, it's very difficult when we say, no, that's not true. That's not true. Because what we tell the mind psychologically becomes. So honoring and knowing who we are is the evidence that we use when we look at things that appear to be real to us. So I'm just grateful that this week was should have been one of the most roughest weeks in my life. All the way from family members turning their backs to jobs being threatened to corporations coming down and creating chaos. But here's the thing. We all sat down and we refused to see false evidence appearing real 
and we manifested what we desired and we were grateful for what took place. And before you know it, we became friends sitting as enemies across the table. And that's something that I need you to understand as part of the entrepreneurial experience, the business development and humbling ourselves and recognizing who we are as CEOs, directors, as board members, as fiscal agents, as tax preparers, as, you know, officials of the state council, everybody has a part to play in the success of an entire community. Know this. And when we hit those highs and we hit those lows, we should be mindful of the people we need to go to because those are the people that are going to come together as a unity and make that come together in a community setting. Does that make sense? Are we rocking in the shoes we walking in? Cause we wearing the damn thing. We doing it. No matter if we getting cussed out, no matter if we crying on the other end, no matter if we are, you know, boohooing and, and, and in our darkest place. Continue to be grateful. Shout out to Miss Regina. You're doing your damn thing. You're rock, rocking the shoes. You're walking in, baby. So you keep doing that. Whether you hear this podcast or not, in the spirit, you already are a beautiful, beautiful essence of what a goddess should look, look like in today's society. When we have to rock those shoes, we're rocking in. We got to rock it. You got to rock them shoes we walking in because we doing a damn thing. And then on top of that, shout out, like I said, to John from Philly, shout out to Candy and Mrs. C from Phoenix. You are awesome. You are wonderful. You are an inspiration to me. You keep me motivated. You keep me going. You continue to keep letting me know that take that break. It's all about you. Calm down. We love you. We care about you too. We need you. You know, you know, there was a prophetic word over my life that stated that I'm going to be working with high officials in the state of Ohio, you know, not just the, on the community level, but I'm going to the state of Ohio to bring forth those things that should be in our community and all the things that we do. Because the community is valuable and every single spirit and soul that has gone through any challenge. Shout out to the one who had a very, very distasteful feeling about me. I do apologize because you are unhappy with yourself. I do apologize over the fact that you can't blame anyone for the choices and the decisions you made in your life. And nobody can make you see that. Like John from Philly said, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. You can't make that horse drink that water. But here's the power. Entrepreneurs, let's rock. Let's rock with this and let's take a walk. Listen to this one. But when that spirit forces that human to finally realize that they need some water from that brook. To sit back and see that horse drinking that water is going to be the most profound thing in your life that you will ever see. And you will know that it is nothing but the most high. Giving you the authority to know that it was going to happen, but not on your time, but on their time, on God's time, on the most high's time. And that is power. That is power. And I just want to document this. Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 92, December 9th. Wow, we're almost halfway into the the end of the year. Halfway into the month, the last month of the year. And this is a powerful time. And I want you to know that you are not alone. That this dark side of shadow work and the dark side of the soul is everybody going through it. Even the sun is going through it because guess what? The sun is not, the sun is shining on the other side of the world. So it's less shining over here, but it's still shining. Somewhere the sun will always shine. So you just keep going, keep, keep growing, keep holding on and don't let no distractors 
You know, them people that try to do things to just try to throw you off your, 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 your focus. Don't let that happen. You keep rocking in the shoes you walking because that right there is going to get you where it takes just the baby step, the first step into success. Once you get there, ain't no stopping you. And before you know it, your enemies will become your footstool. Keep moving. And I appreciate you. I honor you. Thank you for being consistent. Thank you for being on time. Thank you for rocking in the shoes you're walking because you're doing a damn thing. And I will see you soon. Peace and blessings.